In today's video, we are going to talk about Windows 11 with a Windows XP theme. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, to make your Windows 11 look like Windows XP theme, we have to download some of the files that will help us. So there are two files that I'm going to download. First one is RetroBar and the second one will be OpenShell. So first of all, let's go with our RetroBar. So go to the releases section right here and click on this one. It will take you to a new page. And from here, if you scroll down here, we have a zip file. Basically, we have two options. If you are using 32-bit system, you can go with the first choice. And if you are using 64-bit, go with the second one. I'm using 64-bit. That's why I'll go with this one. So I'll just click on this one and it will download a file for me. So we are done with the download of our file. I will just open this one. This is how it looks like. And if I just double click on it, it might ask me to download and install .NET Framework into my system because it will only work if you have .NET Framework downloaded and installed into your Windows 11. Let's see if it is available into my system or not. So I'll just double click on this one and from here click on run. And here you can see it says to run this application, you must install .NET Core. It means I do not have .NET Core available and installed into my Windows 11. But the good news is you do not have to worry about it as it says, would you like to download it now? So just click on yes and it will take you to a page from where you can download and install the .NET Core framework. And from here, go to your Windows section because this is available for Windows, Linux and Macs as well. And download this file that says run desktop apps. And as I'm using 64-bit version, that is why I'll download this file. So I'll just click on that one and the download process will just begin as you can see in here so it is around 50 megabytes so it will take around one to two minutes after we are done with the download of this dotnet code we just need to install this one and then we'll see if our retro bar work or not so just click on install it will start the installation process of our dotnet code framework into our system so we are done with the installation and now i'll head back to my retro bar so from here i'll just double click on it click on run and now it will run RetroBar for our Windows 11. And as you can see at the bottom, that theme has been changed successfully for our taskbar. And it also means that our .NET Core framework has been installed successfully as well. And now if I click on my start button, here you can see we do not have any changes in terms of our start menu. Let me get out of this and let me right click on my taskbar once again. I'll go to its properties now. Down here, we have some more options. For example, show the clock. Well, obviously we can see the clock in here. Then we have collapse notification area icons, which is this one. If you want to collapse it, you can do so. And then we have two more options like automatically start at logon means if you want this theme to be applied and start working whenever you log on into your Windows 11, you can go with this option. Otherwise you can leave it and then it says use software rendering, leave it as it is. So this is how it looks like and this is how you can make some of the changes in this one. But here if you see in the theme section, the Windows theme is 95 to 98. We want to change it and we want to go with Windows XP, which is this one. And you also know that in Windows XP, we have blue, classic, embedded style and many more style. But we want to go with Windows XP with blue style because we know that in Windows XP, we had the blue color of our taskbar. So let's go with this one. Now you can see that we have exactly the same taskbar, just like the Windows XP one. So this is how RetroBar can change your taskbar immediately. I'll just close this window. So I'll right click on it. I'll just close this one. And now if I click on start menu, again, we do not have the start menu of Windows XP. So it means we have to do some more changes. I'll just get out of this. I'll close this tab and let's download our OpenShell. I'll put the link of OpenShell as well in the description of this video. So from here, if you just scroll down here, we have a download button. Just click on this one. It will open a new page from here again, scroll down. And here we have different releases of our OpenShell. So just click on the first one. 
which is the latest one. I'll just click on this one and it will download a file for me. Here you can see it has started the download process. And from here, just click on next, accept the license agreement, click on next, click on next. And now you just need to click on install and start the installation process. We are done with the open shell as well. And now if I just click on finish and here we have our open shell up and running. So from here, first of all, we'll change our start menu style. At the moment, it has chosen to go with Windows 7 style. If I click on my start menu button, this is the Windows Travel start menu, but we want to go with Windows XP style menu. And we know in that we had two columns. So if I just click on this one, here you can see now we have Windows XP style start menu. Now, if you want to change the skin, you can click on select skin and you have a lot of skins available in here that you can go with. I will just click on this drop down arrow and from here I'll go with Windows XP Lona. And in terms of variation, you can choose the color. I'll go with the blue one. I'll go back to my start menu style. If you just click on show all settings button and from here it will allow you to do a lot more things in terms of having Windows XP theme. For example, you can have your start button, you can change it and you can have your own. You can change the main menu, you can change the taskbar and you can have different settings in terms of your taskbar. But I think we are okay with our taskbar. That is why I'll not go with this one. There is one thing that I want to discuss in here. If you open your start menu, from here we have an option that says start menu windows. If you just click on it, it will open the traditional start menu of your Windows 11, just like this one. So we have an option to open our Windows 11 style menu for our start menu, even if you are using Windows XP team. If you again click on my start menu, from here, if you go to your programs, we have everything looking like Windows XP theme. Then in terms of app, everything is same in here. And there is one problem. And that is, as you can see, we have a small gap between our start menu and our taskbar, and we can minimize this distance. For that purpose, we have to create and modify a file. I'll show you what it is and how we can do that. I will open my registry editor in order to reduce this distance between my taskbar and my start menu. So I will just write here reg edit and I will just hit enter. And from here, go to your H key current user. I will just double click on it. From here, click on software and from your software, go to your Microsoft. So I look for my Microsoft. Here it is. I will just double click on this one. And then from your Microsoft, go into your windows. So it will be under the W category. Here it is. I will just double click on this one and then go to your current version, which is this one. Let me resize this one so that we can see everything in more accurate way. So I'll just double click on this one and then look for Explorer, which is right here. I'll just double click on it. In here, we need to create a new key. Right click here, go to new. And from here, go to your keyword 64 bit value. And in here, just write taskbar capital S I and just hit enter. And now I'll just double click on this one. Here we have the values. The default one is zero. And here we have hexadecimal and decimal. Basically, this is the value of a size that we will have between the taskbar and our start menu button. So I'll just go with the zero. And if I now click on OK, we will not see the distance between our taskbar and our start menu. And now if I just click on my start menu and here you can see we do not have any gap between our taskbar and our start menu. And that was all about this video. I hope now that you must have loved this one and you will try this method to have your Windows XP theme on your Windows 11. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.